It took only 38 minutes to print this. The quality is good and threads are also working. This printer comes with 3.5 inch touch screen. It is removable and it has magnetic holder. The screen shows you the basic info, but it is also showing printing speed. The Super Racer is making average noise, up to 50 decibels. The fans are making mostly the noise. Overall it is a quiet machine. Power consumption is mostly at 60 watts and peaks up to 240 watts when heating kicks in. Resume printing after power failure works great. No problems and you almost can't see where it resumed. Resume printing also works after filament run out. The default print speed is 150 millimeters per second. The PLA test cube is also printed with 150 millimeters per second. But smaller, and things with a lot of details can't print so fast. Extruder starts slipping and cooling problems occurs. But printing bigger prints it is amazing. It prints very fast with good quality. I tried printing even faster. I raised the speed up to 250 millimeters per second.
Also removable. You can use both sides. I recommend using bottom side, when you want to use some glue, because it's easier to clean. It also adds smooth and shiny surface. This cube is printed when I tested resume printing. At the bottom you can see place it resumed after power failure and above is the run out sensor. You almost can't see the places it resumed. No cracks at layer lines. ABS quality is good. At first I had some problems with sticking to build plate, but after I lowered printing and fan speeds and added glue, it solved the problem. I like the design of the printer. It is different and the most favorite thing is the speed. Super Racer looks good and it is the fastest 3D printer I have ever had. I didn't have problems and everything works like it should. More info in the description.